Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Today, we're talking about it's not all about you. It's not all about you. I'm talking about character development here, so I'm not on a tangent. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in the room. Facebook, um, as you pop on, if you can hear me, just let me know you can hear me, Facebook. I'm live on Instagram. I'm live on Facebook. Um, this is Actors Daily Bread, episode 184. Um, and um, I'm Christine Horn, if you're new to me. Hi, I'm a professional working actress of 20 plus years, and I'm a life and career coach for actors just like you. Shout out to all of you wonderful actors out there who have um, been enjoying Dwan Johnson's Think Bigger Summit. Oh my gosh, it's such, such good stuff. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Jakir. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Sonia. Um, so if you have not checked that out, please come on and do it. I got to kick off day one, which I was really excited about, um, really talking about mindset. But I want to talk to you just, a, just for a second before I wrap. Um, I have legit been talking all day. <laughs> Today was a busy client day. Shout out to all my new uh, clients in my inner circle. So this is it, okay? <laughs> um, yes, 184, Carlos. Yes, I'm, I'm so grateful because you guys keep showing up, so I'm going to keep showing up for you, right? Let's get it. So also FYI, I've been going live. This is day 21 of my Level Up to Stardom live series, 21 days of lives. Um, and um, because I'm getting ready to go to Atlanta. So today's going to be the last live, like scheduled on, on Level Up Live because I'm flying out on Wednesday and I need, tomorrow is just going to be busy. So I'll talk to you guys when I get to Atlanta, I'm sure. But we're going to round up this whole Level Up to Stardom series with this that came up today as I was talking to three of my clients today. And it made me want to share it with you. So um, if this is your first time watching, throw one in the comments so I know you're uh, new to me because I wanted to say, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've watched me at least twice, put two. If you're an OG member, like you see me more than three times, like we just, we go together, right? So put OG in the comments. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? We play watchers? Love you guys. So it's not all about you. It ain't all about what you like. Oh, what's up, Aaron? Welcome. What's, Carlos, I've got some ones up in here. Hey, I promise you, you will no longer be a one after today. <laughs> OG, yes, OG. So I said, <laughs> hi, Eric, welcome. Um, yes, yes, new names. Hey, Trafina. Okay, let's get into it. So it's not all about you. And here's what I mean. So I was talking to, like I said, three clients today just kept coming up with some of my clients. And we were talking about character building, prepping for auditions. And um, one of my clients, we were talking and I was talking about how I like to use music to get me in the zone of a character, right? So let me back this up by saying this. Sometimes you're approaching the work, your auditions, your scene study with the mindset of what do, what do I like? What does Manuel like? What does Trafina like? Does Trafina like this? I don't really like that. So I'm not going to do it that way. I'm not going to wear that. I'm not going to approach it this way because I don't like that. Trafina doesn't like it. Kenya doesn't like it. Sonya doesn't like it. But here's the deal. It ain't about you. It's about your character. It's about what your character needs which are what we need to bring so that this character comes to life and so, and so that we can bring truth to each moment for this character. So let's dissect this a bit more. So I just actually shout out to, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna say her name, shout out to my client who we just got done. And we, I was looking at one of her tapes and I noticed all, a lot of her tapes, she had this fierce eyeliner, honey. But I was like, would that character have that eyeliner like that? Or do you like your eyeliner like that? And she was like, I didn't even think about that. We get used to things looking good on us. I know one of my other clients in New York, she knows who she is. Love a red lip, honey, a fire, fire engine red lipstick. And I'd be like, don't you put that red lipstick on for that audition, for that cock roll. You cannot be fire engine red. <laughs> So there are things and habits that we have that, thank you for the love Instagram. There are things in, that we do and, and like to do because it makes us feel good or feel confident, but it's not the truth of the character. 
And this is where you get to do that onion exercise, peel yourself all the way off so you're just down to the white meat showing and you're ready to take on whatever this character needs to take on. So what kind of music does this character like? Now, if you've done your character development, if you've created an identity for this character, if you know their real name, they're not guard number two or cop number seven, they're John Smith. Uh, he's 38 years old. He's been on the force for so so years. If you have done that character development work, and I don't care if it's two lines or 10 pages, which is what we do, you should know what kind of music John Smith likes to listen to. So now when I'm driving to that audition, or I'm setting up my self-tape studio at home, getting ready to tape, I'm looking for something John Smith would wear, I'm doing it with John's mindset. I'm driving to that audition, not listening to my favorite hip-hop song. There's no Cardi B playing, unless this character likes to listen to Cardi B. So if she wants to listen to Cardi B and talk, or Rihanna, she talking about make it rain, whatever, like if that works for her, that's what I need. Because energetically, they will not match. If I'm listening to what Christine likes, but my character is this, I'm, no, I'm not even in the right headspace. So for me, that audition, as I'm prepping, it doesn't just start once I sign in. For me, it's a process. I'm just this visualization. I'm, see, I'm operating as this person. So the hair you want to wear. Hey, Dave, right? So the, the hair you have. Met my men and my ladies, right? <laughs> Eric, just fire in your red. <laughs> Even for my guys, like, I just like, I like to trim it up this way. But when you trim it up this way, if you trim that goatee a certain way, what is that saying? It totally changed. It can totally change your vibe. Right? It's like when you, if your hair grows different, like it just, we have to be aware of, the, of that. So it's not all about you. You get to be you every other day of the week. Can you not give yourself away to this character and fully be present and fully just a go there? It doesn't just go to the responsibility of the costume designers and the, and the hairstylists and the, and the makeup artists right it goes it starts with you you start with the creation process of who these people are um hey orlando uh the link is above if you're looking to if you're still looking to come to atlanta to the bronzelands film festival it's going to be a nice group um the link is in my bio on instagram and it's, it's above or below here on facebook so that was just something that came up several times today <laughs> crystal lee brown said the preacher is on quiet on the set <laughs> Guys, listen, if you're popping on, this has been day 21 of my Level Up to Stardom live series. This is the last day, okay? We're going to take a break because I got to get ready to go to Atlanta. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you've missed any of these, just come on over to YouTube and you can just catch up. We're celebrating episode 184 today. So, so seriously, though, before we wrap, I'm... <laughs> before we wrap, and I'll take questions in a second and look at these comments, I, I, I say it jokingly, but I'm so serious. Once you can truly separate your, your personal likes and dislikes, that will help you not judge your characters so much. You can be fully immersed in the life of them versus you with a little piece of them. You see what I mean? So down to your clothes, down to your hair, down to your makeup. You know, I just love when I get roles where I'm like, ooh, I need to put some dark, some dark spots here. I need to, where's that ratty wig I got, right? Or, you know, where's that tattered shirt that I had? Like to really just fully, fully embrace whoever this is, whoever story it is I get to tell. Because we are some of the luckiest people in the, on the planet. We get to tell amazing stories and change lives and bring out emotion and, and create change in this world through our art. How blessed are we? So why not show up fully, fully committed so that we can do our best possible jobs. Um, yes, yes, yes. Thank you for the love. Oh, gosh. Um, I think I see all the comments. So I think you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. Again, um, I'm Christine Horn. This is Actors Daily Bread. So you can just Google that or go to YouTube and catch up. There's like almost 200 videos on YouTube. So if you're an actor, especially if you want to work in film and TV, you'll find these really helpful. Or if you just need motivation. Um, just to, um, before we wrap, thank you guys for hanging. Um, Bronze Lens Film Festival this Saturday in Atlanta. This event is called Level Up to Stardom. I'm teaching from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And that sounds like a lot, but I promise you, 
with all the activities plus a lunch break, the day goes like this. So if you want to come join me, the price now is $100. That is a steal. You can join. Go to Bronze Lens. You can click my link above or below. All right, everybody. Um, and I'll keep, stay here in the, com in the comments on Facebook if you have more questions. Good night, Instagram. Thank you for hanging. <laughs> Bye. All right. Okay, Orlando, did you get the... Um, I hope you got the link. I'll put the, the link in the comments. Good night, everybody.